your lives and your stuff is always challenging. But I actually have a very, very simple um, answer to um, when men and women move in. And I think the answer is that when it comes to decorating, the wife is always right unless the husband is gay. <laughs> and so that's a really important thing for couples to remember. Right, that right. The wife should get her way. And if the husband starts getting ornery, she can just um, invoke that message from me. and <laughs> Just um, come back to this video. It'll be online. Yeah, it'll yeah. be online. So wives, you know, check it out. Save this and link. That's kind of the way it should be. Okay. So the wife wins. Okay. Really? All right. Well, so what if, uh, so, but you said unless the husband is gay. So what if we're talking about two men and they're uh. like, you know, kind of going head to head on, maybe it's even, it's color stuff or it's style. You know, here in the Northwest, we have so many um, craftsman homes, and, yes. but then there's all these sort of mid-century people. All right. When it's two men, it can get really gnarly. <laughs> so what are some of the basic rules? And what about, like, mixing eras? You know, because I really do think this sort of mid-century craftsman thing is, like, they're both really sort of popular styles in Seattle. So what's your take on mixing, mixing well, eras? I, I'm a um, rabid eclecticist as well as a maximalist. Mm -hmm. um, so Me too. I, yeah, so I think not only can you mix styles, but you should mix styles. Cool. Um, because I feel like your home should be extremely personal, and I feel like you should surround yourself with the stuff that you love. Um, so I would encourage couples to all bring in the stuff they love, and then they should consult my books for how to put it together. Nice. Um, okay, because so it's really about, it's, you know, I think that if you love it, it'll work, but you just have to um, be a little bit thoughtful about how you arrange it and how you put it together, and, and everything can work. It's just you gotta, you have to do a little work to make it work. Gotcha. So maybe, um, you know, sort of being... Um opinionated with yourself about putting what you really, really do love together in, a, in sort of, you know, the middle of the room or something, and then maybe consulting your book for an editing process. Is sure. that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And I think, I think the most important thing is I believe that you should only buy stuff that your heirs are going to fight over. I think that should be I the, love um, that. that should really be the, uh, the test. And that's what I know that when I'm, that's my motto of my company is, um, we won't make it if your heirs won't fight over it. And it's a really clear way for me to analyze my stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like, if it's not amazing, I don't want to make it. And I think that that's, that same principle should um, be true about design and about about when you design your home. So it's, a, it's actually a great thing for couples to think about when they're combining their stuff. You just have to think, is this something that our you know future children are going to want to keep after we snuff it. Absolutely. I love it. I think it's a great editing point. Mm -hmm. Cool.